Ableton Gate is a very useful but often misunderstood tool. There are so many creative uses for it. In this video, I'm going to talk about three different uses for it. So enjoy. If you have any questions, please feel free to add them to the comments. Thank you. So if you've got a track like this with the drums are pumping through a little bit too much and you're going to take control of the transients and the hi-hats, take a listen to this first. <laughs> So you want to get rid of those hi-hats. What you want to do is slap a gate on the drum track like this and increase the threshold. So just take a listen to this. This has increased that return a little bit. So we've got a wider range there to filter out. So instantly you've removed all your hi-hats and you've removed a lot of that sort of transient, but sometimes that fits better in the song. So just take a listen to the new song. And this is without, and this is with. So gate could be really useful for that sort of application. Did you know that you can side chain gate? So on a sample like this, this is a basic pad sample. What you can do is you can create a MIDI track like this one here, and you can add some MIDI notes just like this one here. So this is a rhythmic MIDI section. And then we can go into the pad sample and slap on a gate like this, click on side chain. We're going to side chain that from the MIDI channel like that. And off the bat, you're not going to hear anything too different, but then you can adjust the threshold settings to get that rhythm sound. Pretty cool, huh? And obviously, if you go into the MIDI section and change the length of any of these notes, that would completely change the rhythm that you get from that sample. This is a really cool way to get that sort of stop start reverb sound on any of your drum kit or your hi hat. So, what we've got here is a basic kick, snare, and hi hat loop. So what I've done is I created a return track here and in the return track we have a Valhalla vintage verb, just a standard reverb. So if you, for example, increase the return send to the snare track, but we can actually cut that tail off of the reverb by using a gate. So let's just go in and slap a gate on that reverb. So you can read here that some of the gate is cutting off that tail, but we can reduce the threshold a bit. So once you've got it at the kind of the level that you want, you can even apply it to the hi-hats. Let's take a listen to this. So I hope that was a useful little tip.